So like I said earlier, I think I'm going to go around and build in a few of the empty spots in my house just to make it look a little nicer, a little more like home. And I think first off, I'm going to start off with a garden. I believe there's like two tree spots. There's like a spot for like a topiary and I'll just buy a few things and see what I get. I've got a few things here now. I think what I want is one magic tree and one maple tree. I do like maple trees. Oh, I need to get a watering can. Let's uh, not forget. I just realized I'm I'm still teleporting using the um, teleport to house spell. I, I don't need to do that anymore. That was the entire point of it. Okay, maybe I'll just bank my lore to stop myself from doing it. But I've got the watering cans now, so let's go to building mode and see what I can build. I'll put a magic tree here. There we go. That looks nice. And I will put a maple tree here. Actually, the only thing I can think of is this magic tree might actually make it a little bit more difficult to get to the... Uh, the pool here. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. And I've got a bagged plant here for this one. The tall plant. And what else do we have? I'm pretty sure I just got a topiary hedge. I think that's actually in the superior garden over here. And that was the only option, so put that there. That looks kind of looks like a Minecraft grass block, but okay. <laughs> I'm trying to build the otherworldly theme in my superior garden. And I need eight super compost, so let's just grab some here. And then I think I also need some blue dye. If I remember correctly, for blue dye I need to get some world leaves. So I would like two world leaves, please. Um, ten coins. I don't remember which one it's supposed to be. That was not it. Okay, okay, let me try this again. I'll just pay 20. I can't believe I just got 99 construction and I'm that much of a cheapskate that I try to go for the cheaper option and save 10 coins, but okay. <laughs> okay, so I just noticed, and the, the magic tree doesn't actually have any collision or anything, nothing I can click on, so it won't get in the way of drinking from the pole. Unless, I guess, I can't I can't physically run through it, but I don't need to, I don't think. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll remove it if it's uh, too annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the early game here, going to Aggie to get some dyes, but I would like some blue dye, please. Thank you for the blue dye. So I'm going to build in the theme space here. Um, okay, that was some weird lag. <laughs> Let's make the otherworldly theme. That's pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like outside of building mode. Yeah, I like that. The other superior garden, I don't really need. I originally made two because I had a separate tree and fairy ring, but then I turned this into both of them. So I don't know if I should remove that room. Maybe I'll just move it out the way. I don't know. I have two more banked plants here, so I'm just going to fill these spots in. And there we go. So the gardens are basically done there. I don't think there's anything else I can build apart from the tip jar, but I'm an Iron Man, by the way, so I don't think that's going to come in handy. Oh, wait one second. Do I have to run around? Is that going to be annoying? I feel like maybe I'm kind of uh, messing things up for myself by putting too much stuff in this place. But, uh... Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm going to remove that fern. I, that doesn't even look that good. Goodbye. I'll keep the ones in the corner because that's fine. Okay, you know what? I am actually just going to get rid of this second superior garden. I can always build it again if I need to. Although, I don't think there's any reason to, so... Be gone. I totally forgot that there's actually a fence space I can build in. Luckily, I've kept some redwood logs from my 99 woodcutting grind. So, let's build them there. Oh, well, that makes it look a bit nicer. So I believe I can actually remove the frames of these portals and build them back again and still keep the actual teleport. So let's remove these and... Oh, does that... Oh, that kind of reloads it for a second. I wasn't expecting that. And I'm not going to make marble ones, but I've got about 500 mahogany planks just sitting in my bank that I'm not going to use. So let's get them looking at least a tiny bit nicer. Okay, and with that, all of them are now mahogany portals. That looks kind of nice. I've got kind of a crappy looking bookcase here. I don't even know why I built this, to be honest, originally, but let's get rid of this. I think I can make a mahogany one. There we go, mahogany bookcase. Wait a second. Is that the same? I'm, uh, I'm sorry for insulting you, bookcase. Okay, carry on. And because I love the mahogany bookcase so much, I'm going to build two of them right here in my um, whatever this room is, the observatory. I've only used it for the lectern so far. Oh, it builds two of them at once. That's cool. Well, I've still got some mahogany planks on me. I'm going to build a wardrobe here. And how do I make this block? Oh, corner space, I guess. I have not set up this house very well because I have to run all the way around here to get to the kitchen. 
Let's see if I can build anything at the table. Um, no, you can only actually make it up to teak planks, I guess. What about barrel space? Um, oh yeah, I actually have to have something to put in it, I think. And what about the ladder? Can I make a mahogany ladder? I don't think I can, actually. Teak ladder. I guess I can do that. Of course, I don't want any old crappy pump and drain and fire pit. So I'm going to build a nice sink here. Too bad the gold sink hasn't arrived yet, but that would probably be too expensive. And I'm going to build a nice fancy range. Just going to stock up on some bolts of cloth real quick, because it seems like a lot of recipes need that. One of the things that needed bolts of cloth were these charts on the walls. There was four different spots for it, so I wasn't sure if it would fill them all in, but it did. So I needed less cloth than I thought. I'm not sure what the point of this astronomical chart is, but you know, it's there. It's, it looks kind of cool, I guess. We get some wool here in true Iron Man fashion. I believe I need two pieces. Oh, do not attack the ram. I attack the ram. There we go, got two of them run. Now I believe I can make something in every spot by the spice rack, because I can't be bothered going collecting the spices. We've got a cushioned blanket. I guess if I had a cat, I could use that. I don't really know, but there it is. Uh, I'm just going to make the regular beer barrel because I cannot be fucked going brewing anything for uh, an actual useful purpose. So, got a teak kitchen table and let's get a teak um, ladder. And there we go, kitchen done, kind of, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm a cheapskate, I'm not going to be using anything with gold leaves in all these recipes, so I'm using the cheaper ones. So we'll build that uh, crystal ball, we'll build the ornamental globe. It looks fairly cool. And then we'll build, I think, like a teak telescope. There we go. In the combat room, I'm going to build whatever this teak decoration is. I have no idea. Um, okay, I guess that's cool. And we're going to finish off the room by building an extra weapons rack. And let's see, I think I'll build the boxing ring because that's like the cheap one. All right, I mean, I'm not going to be using this, but you know, it flushes out the room a bit. I've seen a few of these curtain spaces, so I'm going to go around the house and build some opulent curtains wherever I can see a slot for them. Luckily, it fills them in across the entire room. I'll put some over here too. And here. And here as well. So I've got three quest halls here in a row, and I'm not actually sure why. The first one here is where my mounted glory is, so that makes sense. And this one is where I built mythical capes, so that makes sense, but... Why have I got a third one here? I think what I did was for one of the diaries, I had to put a painting down and for some reason I made an entire extra room instead of just putting it in one of the other ones. So I think I might just be able to remove this room. I don't think I need this. I'm going to build a nice mahogany table and a seating over here. Oh, I've got to build uh, two separate benches. So a lot of them, they, uh, they kind of just build at the same time, but these ones are separate. There we go. And I'm going to build some stained glass in my window space here in the chapel. That's quite cool. I'm going to build a nice big organ over here. And I believe I can make a gothic symbol. That's the one I'm going to choose. Oh, it's, uh, it's yeah, some, sometimes it just randomly reloads the house. It's kind of strange, but there we go. And it's getting to the point now where a lot of the stuff I want to build requires some form of like gold leaf or marble blocks or limestone bricks, stuff like that. So I think it's time I make a little trip to Keldegrim and tally up what I actually need for all these different things and hopefully it doesn't cost too much. So I went around and looked at all the building spots that I wanted to build and even with me selecting some of the cheaper options, I'm going to need 14 gold leaves, one marble block, 28 limestone bricks and one magic stone. So yeah, this might cost me a bit. So I think I've got all the stuff I need now. It cost me around about 3 mil, so honestly not too bad, and I just need to go get some bolts of cloth, and I think I'm good. Right, now I'm going to start by going around and going to every rug space and building a nice opulent rug. Which is quite expensive, because it does take a gold leaf, but you know, worth it. And with this one, I should have opulent rugs in every single spot I can have. And it looks quite nice, I like it with the portal actually, I think it suits the portal nexus over here. So I'm building a cape hanger in my house, and I believe for that I actually need both the cape and a hood. So I don't actually have the hood anywhere for this cape, so hopefully I can just get one. Yeah, okay, there's just an option to get a hood here. And I have one, please? Free of charge. Nice. Right, let's build the cape hanger here. That was like the cheapest one I could get. And I guess I just put it on here. Uh, that's not how I click. Uh, what? 
But, oh, I'm glad I'm not PVMing right now. My clicks are not there. Okay, there we go. I think a hit points cape would fit pretty well with this room. So, uh, that's the room complete. Let me get rid of my crappy old bed here and build a nice four poster. There we go. I'm going to build a dresser as well. A mahogany dresser. And I will build a fireplace. And uh, now I think I need to go make um, a clockwork for this. And this will finish off the room nicely. You know, my servants worked hard too. I think I'll give him a nicer bed as well. There you go, bud. Oh shit, I need a marble block to upgrade my cape rack. Oh, back to Keldegrim. And I'm back. So I think I can upgrade this thing twice here. And this should actually be useful because I should be able to have every single skill cape on here. Um, before there was like limited storage, but considering I'm going for max, that'll come in handy. You know, getting some of these items really does feel like an early game Iron Man, because I'm over here talking to Ali Morrisane right now, getting Papyrus. Okay, I should be able to build a few things in my menagerie now, so... Got a glorious arena. Got a mahogany feeder. And let's see. Can I build a pet list? Yes, that's what the Papyrus was for. And uh, build the scratching post. And now that's all that's left to do is build a habitat space. There's a bunch of choices. I'll just have to decide which one to get and upgrade the mahogany house. And I just realized I need another magic stone. Well, uh, back to back to Caldicum it is. Okay, I should be able to upgrade my pet house now. So make this consecrated home. That looks kind of weird. A desecrated house. And finally, a nature house. So this one should be able to store like basically any pet I could possibly get. Um, so, you know, thinking for the future, hopefully I will be able to fill it at some point, although I doubt it. <laughs> and now I just need to build the theme and I decided on a forest habitat. Okay, I'm back with a watering can. Hopefully I can make it now. There we go. Nice and finished. Now I'm going to finish off my workshop by building a banner easel. And I think I need to make several stages of this workbench. So I'll make a steel framed bench and then I think I can upgrade it. So I'll upgrade that. Bench with vise, and then bench with lathe. And now I think basically all that's left is this like leagues room over here, and then a couple other random little things here and there, like this decoration space, wherever that is. They're yeah, almost done. Okay, I'm going to build in these weird little decoration things. There we go. And I don't think I can build in these armor spots. It's like castle wars stuff. Um, but I can build the rune case, I believe. So put that down. If there's any point in it, but you know, it's there. Oh, a fishing trophy. I think I might have something I can put there. I actually have two big swordfish here. I think I got them really close to the start. Uh, let's see, I think I'll convert one of them. I can't make two, so. Okay, so I guess I have to use this on it. And there we go, 2,500 coins. Got a stuffed big swordfish. Okay, let's mount it. And there we go. Oh, it's just like. That's like a picture, that's barely, okay, that's barely anything, but there we go, we got it. I'm going to start building some stuff in the leak hole, so I should be able to make a mahogany trophy case. Uh, I think I can make a statue. I don't think I can make an accomplishment scroll thing, I think I need some papyrus for that. I can make a banner stand, and maybe the outfit stand. Yep. So I think all that's left is the scroll and these three things. All right, I got the papyrus, so I should be able to just make this scroll here. And what does this actually look like? Oh, it just tells me like my league points and trophies and stuff. That's pretty cool. And just these things left. Also, I think building the theme in my superior garden actually used up my magic executors. I thought I just needed to have them on me, so better go buy some more. Well, 40k is pretty outrageous, but you know, I need them. So thank you, sir. Okay, I can build these pedestals now. I'm not going to go for the uh, the fancy one, but these ones will do. And there we go, that's this room done. So, not much left to do now. One of the last things I need is a mounted sword, so I'm going to try and get Excalibur back from the Lady of the Lake. Yes, yes, whatever. Whatever, whatever, 500 gold. Easy. There's two slots, so I'm also going to try and get Dark Light. And there we go, got the Dark Light. All right, now I'm going to get a few of these portraits, landscapes, and maps from Serenity over here. Okay, I'm going to build in the sword space. I'm going to put Excalibur here. And then I've got another one over here, and I'll put Dark Light in this one. 
Then I'll put a nice Faramja picture here. And I also got one of the desert, so put that one here. And then I've got a picture of King Arthur, and I think I got one from the Giant Dwarf. All that's left now is to fill in the map spaces. So I got two large maps. So I've got one here, and I'll also put one here. And then I think that's basically it. I can't think of anything else to build unless I want to upgrade stuff in the future, but I think we're good. The only thing I can think of doing now is maybe moving around some rooms, make it a little better, because, you know, I've got some awkward ones to get to, like over here and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so I've moved a few rooms around, and basically all I've done is to get little random ones on the edge and make it into more of a rectangle shape. I've still got some, like, kind of inaccessible rooms, like uh, the altar over here and stuff, but the thing is, when I'm training prayer and stuff, I just, like, swap these rooms around, so it's right here anyway, so I think this is basically fine. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with the way it looks. I know it's not, like, the most efficient setup by any means, but, yeah, I think this works for me. So I recently got a plugin called Wasted Bank Space and it's pretty good in clearing up some space because it'll give you a little symbol here when there's something you can save a space with. So here, I wouldn't have even known this, but Swamp Paste I can put in the uh, Flamtea bag. I, I definitely would not have um, figured that one out myself. But there we go, that's a saved bank space right there. Oh wait, kind of. I can save some of it, I don't need all of that, but you, you know what I mean. But yeah, I might just have a look through. Some of them aren't going to be super useful because like, here... Um, I like having some seeds just in my bank ready to go when I could store them in my seed vault, but I'm sure there's other things I can uh, save my space with. Here's five bank spaces I found I can save just by random uh, things out of my bank that I can put in this treasure chest. Also, there was a blog post recently about them adding extra space to the bank. The only problem is you have to actually buy it with um, in-game cash, so uh, some of them were quite expensive. I believe it went up to like 500 mil. I won't be getting that, but... Some of the lower tier ones I could certainly get, uh, but considering my cash stack has been quite dwindled recently, I'm thinking I'll go to my Slayer tab, I've got tons of stuff to Elk here. Um, I've even got some like blue dragon hide and stuff that I could make into bodies and just arc them. So I might be doing a bit of Elk agility here. I'm going to start tanning these blue dragon hides, and I think the best way to do that is going to be here. In the crafting guild, I can just go down here. And it's very close to a bank, so yeah, I'll get these done. Okay, that didn't take very long to tan them all. Now I've just got to make the bodies. Alright, that's all the blue dehyde bodies made. I think I've got some fire orbs and battle staffs left over from Cerberus as well, so I'm going to make some of them. Okay, I've made all the fire battle staffs now, so I should be able to just collect up a bunch of different alcables and I can uh, go do some agility. So I have got a fair amount of alcables in my inventory here. I've collected them for quite a while, so... I don't want to price check them, I want to kind of just see how much I get, and I think it's going to be quite a bit. I'm also uh, 90 agility, 5.5 mil XP, so I'll see what I get at the end of this as well. Just at 200 laps on the Adikos. Okay, just finished up alking all my random rune and dragon items, so I'm sitting at a cool 17 mil now. I'm going to move on to the blue DI bodies. Okay, just finished alking all the blue dehyde bodies, so... Let's see what I'm at now. 19 and a half mil, getting quite a lot of money. I think I'll start on the Onyx Bolts now. I don't know how I did it, but I think I've accidentally dropped my Onyx Bolts somewhere. Um, I hope I can find them, because that's quite a bit of money that I'd be missing out on. Uh, I'm gonna cut that. You're not gonna see the- this is not gonna see the light of day. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I actually just straight up forgot that you could equip Onyx Bolts. Like, that's a thing you can do. <laughs> and I was just panicking, thinking I'd somehow dropped it on the course and it despawned or something. Well then. <laughs> and there is all the Onyx Bolts alked. They're gone for real this time. So now all that's left to do is alk these fire battle staffs. Just hit 500 laps on the Addy course. What's with everyone having construction caves, man? I'm feeling kind of self-conscious that I didn't bring my own. Oh man, there's just a random Torstal seed on the ground. I can make super combats with that, I want it. Who drops Torstal seeds? And there is level 91 agility. That's the first agility level I've gotten in quite some time. And we are pretty much done with our Alks here. It was just quite productive. I got 175 max of grace. That'll be a lot of stamina potions. I've got... 38 mil, almost 39, 
So I'm basically back to where I started before I did the construction grind, so yeah, there's quite a lot. So let's see how much money we've got in total now. 50 mil, that's actually quite satisfying. I didn't calculate it to land on that or anything, but nice. And with that, I think I will end the episode here. A bit of a fun, silly episode, just running around decorating the house. Never really done that in RuneScape before, to be honest. Normally I just build what I need and then kind of forget about everything else, but it's nice to do a little bit. Well, it's something a little bit fun like this, kind of like a Minecraft playthrough or something. And we did do a little bit of productiveness, so, you know, we uh, we out some stuff. We got our money back from the construction grind because I was uh, I was a bit low on cash there, but now we've got some more money for future grinds. And yeah, just wanted to see how this looked like in 3D. I like it. Not 3D. It's always in 3D, uh, HD. Um, but yeah, so next episode, we're doing a bit of PVM, doing some Hydra, maybe a little bit of Bando, so stay tuned for that. And see you in the next one.